We got another application of a vector, application of vectors. Um, I got several of them. Check them out. They're they're all different. Uh, it says a force of two pounds and twelve pounds act at an angle of sixty sixty degrees to each other. Find find the magnitude of the resultant force and the angle between the resultant and each force. All right. So let's. Let's draw a picture. So let's see. Right, so we'll call this the 12 pound force. We'll call this the 2 pound force. Okay. And the angle between them is 60 degrees. Now you might be wondering, well, why did I call this one 12 pounds and this one the 2 pounds? Doesn't matter. You can call this one 2 pounds and this one's 12 pounds. It makes no difference which one you call which. Okay. So what we want to do is we need to find the magnitude of the resultant force Okay, and the angle between the resultant and each force. So first let's just go ahead and find the magnitude of the resultant. So remember to to get the resultant we can actually draw a parallelogram all right and this is our resultant force we'll call that vector v okay so we need to find this well if this is 12 pounds, we know this is 12 pounds. If this is 2 pounds, we know this is 2 pounds. Okay, we're looking for this. We know this angle is 60. This angle is 60. Remember, adjacent angles on a parallelogram add up to 180. So that means this angle here would be 180 minus 60, which would be 120. Okay, and this would be 120 also. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to label it up here. Okay. All right. So, well, look what I got here. I've got an angle and two sides. Okay, two sides and an included angle here. I need to find vector V. So I know the angle and I need to find the side opposite that angle and I know the other two sides. That's law of cosines. So the magnitude of V squared, remember, is this side squared plus this side squared minus two times this side times this side times the cosine of 120 degrees. Okay. And so let's see what we get here. All right, and that gives us 172. And so the magnitude of V is the square root of that, which is 13.1. Okay, so there's the magnitude. So I now know this is 13.1. All right, so now what we need to find is what? The angle between the resultant and each force. So here's the resultant. So I need to know the angle between each one. So we'll call that alpha and we'll call this one beta. Alright, so let's see what we've got. How about we find alpha first? Okay, so I need this angle. I know this angle. I know the side opposite. I'm looking for this angle and I know the side opposite. Well, remember this. Remember, sine alpha over A 
equals sine beta over B equals sine gamma over C. And you can use A, B, and C for the angles. I just use alpha, beta, and gamma. Okay. Law of sines. Okay. So this would be what? The sine of alpha over the side opposite equals the sine of 120 over the side opposite. Okay. So I get sine alpha is equal to 2 times sine of 120 over 13.1 and I get, let's see, 2 times sine 120 divided by 13.1 so I get sine alpha is equal to 0.13221769 okay so we get alpha so I'm going to do the inverse sine of that and that is, I'm going to round it to one decimal place, so that's 7.6 degrees. Okay, so I get alpha is 7.6 degrees. All right, now look, we could do the exact same thing for beta. We could use the law of sines. But I know this entire angle here is 60 degrees. So that means beta would have to be what? 60 minus the 7.6. And so 60 minus 7.6, that's going to give me 52.4 degrees. Okay? So there's angle beta. There's angle alpha. This is 52.4 degrees. All right, so I hope the, I hope this helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.